I'm going to demonstrate a couple techniques on uh, different ways to uh, apply your stylers. So when I talk about stylers, I'm talking about not shampoo or conditioner, I'm talking about your products. And no, I don't use all of these at once. Um, I use different ones depending on what kind of style I'm going for. Um, so my, my main ones are, um, I've been using my color lock, which actually helps to seal in. I've got blue hair, so I, I want to seal in the color. So every time I wash my hair, I use that. So that's why that's in here too. Um, I have a blow up cream, a, a leave-in conditioner, curl cream, and then either the gel, which wasn't only for you, or the mousse. These are kind of my main ones. Um, I also have on here, or in here rather, um, I have an anti-frizz smoothing primer. I do really like that sometimes, but because it's an only for you and you can't just buy it, I don't like demoing um, using this one a lot because I want people who are using the products to be able to find them, you know, if they want them. Um, and then I also have the air dry cream in here. Um, this one I usually take to the pool with me if I need to touch up my hair afterwards, but I find it doesn't have enough hold for like all day, um, hold basically. Um, I need to use this with other products, but in a pinch it works to help with frizz. And then I also have a CC cream, which is a hair uh, finisher. Again, it's an only for you product. And then this little bottle here is just um, a body oil, but I have it in this little tray so it doesn't leak all over my cupboard. So that's kind of my main stylers, but basically blowout, leave-in, curl cream, and mousse are my main, my main stylers. Um, so what I've done is I actually just took a section of hair and I soaked it down. So it has been dripping on me this whole time I'm talking. Um, when you are applying products to your hair, you want them wet. You want the hair very wet. Um, the reason for this is the wetter the hair, the less frizz you'll end up having. Um, so the rest of my hair is dry. Um, I just kind of clipped it out of way, out of the way just so that we can focus on this. And I'm going to try to do it this way so that you can see against my white backdrop. Um, okay, so, and I'm sorry for the echo, so I'm just going to wet it a little bit more. Once again, super wet hair. Um, sometimes you can do this straight out of the shower as well, um, but I'm just going to do it here just so that you can see. So I'm going to use just a little bit of leave-in. I do have product in my hair just because, I mean, my hair was styled. I just re-wet it down so that you could take a look. Um, but I'm going to use a little bit of blowout and leave-in. This just gives me a little bit of slip. So there's different techniques I'm going to demonstrate. So let's start with roping. So I put the product in my hair and then I just kind of squish it all the way down. This is called roping. You want to keep it in a nice big rope so that when it dries, it'll be in a big chunk. The bigger the chunk, the, the bigger the curl, basically. Um, so if you have very thick hair, Usually you don't have to, to keep it in, in specific chunks because your hair will naturally do that. If you have very fine hair, the, the finer the texture, the more it'll break apart and look frizzy. So you wanna try to touch it as little as possible and keep it in that big chunk. So that is roping, you just basically squeeze it all the way down. So if you're doing a bulk of hair, you'd probably have your hair upside down and just kind of squish all the way down just to apply the product. That's roping. Um, next, we are going to do raking. So just exactly what it sounds like, you're gonna use your fingers and rake through your hair. Um, as I was saying about fine texture, if you have fine texture, you can see that this kind of breaks the hair apart a little bit. Um, if, you're, if your hair is coarse, this doesn't matter, like it's fine and it'll still probably give you nice full curls. Um, I have very fine hair. And so raking is, I never rake because once I break that curl apart, then I get, like you can see this little guy here, he looks real cute, but once it dries, it just looks like frizz because it's all blown apart. Um, so I typically don't rake, but if you have thick hair or heavy hair, definitely try it because sometimes that works really well and it works really well for um, wavy hair. Okay, next I have, I have like a little sign thing here. Uh, next we've got scrunching. So it sounds exactly what it sounds, or well, I mean, I'm sure you know what scrunching is. Every curl video ever has had scrunching. When you're applying things, you want to hear this. 
that very kind of moist sound, <laughs> that's what you want to hear. And this, what I'm doing here, as I go, you, you kind of want to let it open your hand wide, let it coil all the way up so it falls in its natural pattern. And then this is called pulsing. And what you're basically doing is kind of forcing the product and the water into the hair. Um, this is also why you want your hair really, really wet because that water actually helps the stylers be distributed all throughout. So this is one of my main techniques. I do this a lot. I, I am a scruncher. This is this is one of my things. Um, so that is what scrunching looks like. Uh, next we have finger coiling. So what you're gonna do is kind of take a section and then, whoop, don't get it twisted. And basically just let like twist it all the way down and then I usually kind of scrunch it once it's in that twist and then you can kind of see it keeps those nice juicy clumps all together so that when your hair dries it'll be kind of clumpier. Um, I love this for definition of my curl but I find that when I do that um, I don't have enough um, volume at the root. So my hair ends up being a little bit flatter, but very defined. Um, also, my hair really likes being twisted. So when I do that, I end up losing a lot of length because I get these really, really tight ringlets. Um, so each different techniques create different results, of course. Um, praying hands. So I'm just going to comb this out just so that you can kind of see. So pretend I'm, you know, fresh out of the water again. Um, but praying hands is how I apply my stylers typically. And that's what this is. So it's like you're praying. You just want to smooth the product down just like that. Um, this, in, in, instead of roping, this, this helps kind of smooth the product on each of the strands. And then once I've smoothed it down, I tend to scrunch it back up. So I'll kind of go down and then back up just so that each piece kind of gets gets the curl, but I'm also not pulling the curl out. I want to scrunch it back up. Okay, uh, then there is the Denman. So this is a Denman brush. Um, it is, this was, it's just a regular brush. It's just a regular hairstyling brush. However, the curly community has gotten hold of it and they love this thing. Um, one of the perks of this brush is you can take this part out and you can remove rows of teeth. So if there's too many teeth, meaning it creates um, too small of a clump, you can take some out so that you can have bigger clumps so that the curl goes a little bit better. And what you're gonna do with this is just take a section and you can, either just kind of comb it out and then give it like a little shake so that they kind of go into the curl that you want them to, or you can use it and comb it kind of down so that they kind of curl just like that. Or you can use a piece and just kind of twist it down. You don't want to comb, you don't want to, catch the hair over the part that you already did. And you just kind of like, it's like finger coiling, but you're using a brush to do it. And so there's different ways to do that. I typically don't brush my curls because I, again, the fine texture, I need to apply the product on super wet hair. And the more I pull apart that those curl chunks, the thinner my curls get. But again, my texture may not be your texture. So give it a try and see what your result is. Um, and then last one is just wide tooth comb. So just, you just kind of apply your, your uh, stylers, you know, however you want to do it. If you want to do praying hands or scrunch or whatever, and then just kind of comb through your hair. When you're combing, you want to lift up off the scalp. So you're going out, not down. You don't want it to be flat to your scalp because it, you'll get flat hair. Like that's just how that works. Um, so even if you're combing out, you want to comb out basically. Um, but again, like I said, combing tends to break the, that curl apart. Now, as I am talking, my hair is drying. So you'll notice that those clumps are not forming the same way. So I want to add more water to it. Again, I still have the stylers in there, but I just kind of distribute the water. You can hear it, you can probably see it. Really juicy, really wet. But this, you see, because my hair is blue, it's like pouring out of me. Um, but this is what you want. This is how you want your hair to set. 
once it is set, um, there's a couple different ways that you can um, kind of process it, I guess. Uh, one of them is, let me see if I have it. Of course I don't have it. Um, you would use a shower cap. And so what I do is I flip my head upside down and I open the shower cap wide. And then the same way I kind of coiled my hair up, I'm gonna do that in the shower cap. So I'm gonna hold it wide, flip my head completely upside down, and then slowly bring the shower cap to my head to put it over so that all my hair is piled up on top of my head and it can sit in that, that nice wet kind of moisture. That's called wet plopping, which is a terrible, terrible name, but there we are. And then um, you can dry plop as well. Same premise, you're gonna use an old cotton t-shirt. The more threadbare and the better. You don't want friction, you want it to be very, very soft. Um, so what you would do is just lay it out flat. I can post a video of what that looks like, but you're basically gonna flip your head over again, let your hair collect in the center, and then tie it around on your head. This helps to absorb the water from your curl while the curl dries in that tight texture. Um, gravity is not your friend when it comes to curls. So if you are trying to curl, trying to dry your hair, you want it to be as close to your head as possible as it's drying, because the further down it is, the further it's gonna be pulled out. Um, another thing that I like to do is if it is really, really wet, if I'm air drying, I'll just kind of coil it in a cloth and then press it flat to my head. So you can see there, my hand is just flat to my head. I'm not, I'm not grabbing it. I'm not really squishing it out. And then it just takes some of the moisture out, but it stays in that, that coil. And now I can either air dry um, or I can diffuse once I kind of have my curls all set like that. But that is basically like styler techniques one-on-one. -on -one. So sorry this video is so long.